Hey guys, this is the very first dehumidifier I ever bought right here. It's a 25 pint Kenmore model 5925. It was purchased in 1990. I couldn't find the original receipt, but I did find the original manual. I didn't write a date on it like I usually try to remember to do. But that says copyright 1990 Sears and Roebuck on the parts list. So it, I do remember it being around 1990. They didn't have a lot of confidence, did they? What well, sure has lasted good. Well, it's now about 21 years old. Of course, I must tell you, I did, when I bought that Kenmore that I have now that I showed cleaning in the last video, Here's I found the receipt on it. You can't see it here. It's so faded, but I purchased it on 227.01, so that's when I retired this one. It, it retired that then, so it's been in storage in the house here. So it's and I cleaned it up before I stored it, so it's it's clean and nice. It's got a scratch or two on it from where it got used, but coils are nice and clean. There's the catch pan. I never poked a hole in it to drain, I always just emptied it manually. But I'll take the uh, covers off here and give you a look inside. Okay, here it is with its covers off. It's got an Embraco FF10 BK reciprocating compressor in it. It's a pretty quiet compressor. I'll turn it on here before this video is over and see if it still works. I have, like I say, it hasn't been run in probably 10 years. But I did use it quite a bit back when it was only one I had. And it's got some rust. That little thing right there has gotten rusty pretty bad. Those little clips that hold that deicer thermostat in place are rusted into the coal a little bit looks like. There's the deicer thermostat I guess and uh Got a plastic fan blade. It's a Magnatech Universal Electric Motor for a fan motor. Number 20 non detergent oil. I've never oiled the thing, I probably should. But it spins good still. Might do it more harm than good to oil it now after <laughs> all these years. I'll uh, get the covers back on and we'll turn it on and see if it still works. Oh, there's the float switch on this one. It's just a little button switch. It's got a little spring thing that that pan pushes against and if it gets heavy enough it'll click that switch and turn it off if it's full of water. There's a look down in between the condenser coil and the evaporator coil. The little evaporator coil is pretty thin on it because it's just a 25 pint model. But a little rust down at the bottom of that. That condenser coil still looks good and shiny. Evaporator's tarnished a little bit but it's clean because like I say I cleaned this one before I stored it. Back about 10 years ago. And there's the model and serial numbers. It's a model 106.B59251, serial QA2368995. 25 pints, 24 hours, refrigerant 500. 5.9 amps, 115 volts. There's a close-up of the plug. It looks good. Not melted or turned in any way. Now let's turn it on here. Hear that Embraco starting there. Hopefully they'll start anyway. It's been so long. 
Okay, over and out.